so this is literally kind of me not showing but I have a book haul as I accumulated a lot of books uh, this time um, so I thought it would be wise to do kind of a book haul that I need for both of my channels ASMR and normal but everyone's gonna get an ASMR style type book haul so let's get into it so the first book that I have is by uh, Katie and this is Liar's Beach this is a novel um, book it's really short because it's 200 and 75 pages and I'm currently 10 pages in and I'm gonna be reviewing this one so it's about a body in the pool a friend who might be an enemy a vacation they'll never forget Lyndon has always felt like an outsider and spending the summer at his best friend's vacation house surrounded by money and privilege is doing nothing to lessen his imposter syndrome but he soon has bigger concerns than fitting in there's a body in the pool and everyone's a suspect, including him. So I can't really say much um, at the moment, just because obviously I'm 10 pages in at 275. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad read. It is kind of basic kind of uh, writing, but she's done other books like uh, Top 10, Fireworks, 99 Days, How to Love, 9 Days and 9 Nights. Nine days and nine nights. You say it first rules of for being a girl, birds of California. So she's done a lot. So look out for the review on the Obsidian Nook for this one. This isn't my copy, this is a library copy. So yeah. I borrowed three from the library um, in total. The second book I have that I borrowed from the library that I'm going to review on my channel is. Let's play Murderers um, by this author and Win or Die Trying. So I'm aware this is about virtual reality um, type of a game. So I'm excited to read it because it uh, has similar to every line of view, I think, by Naomi Gibson. And I believe, again, this is standalone as well. So, you'll know it by the snow. Welcome to the game. A secret virtual reality unlike any other. Veronica hates VR and when she accidentally gets sucked into the game, she'll do anything to leave. But the only way out is to get, is to, get to the end. Solve the murder mystery, reveal the killer and ideally win the grand prize. It should be straightforward, but something doesn't feel right. There are blackouts, glitches, strange characters, and four other players that Veronica can't trust. She can't help feeling that a mysterious shadow is haunting, the, haunting their footsteps, toying with them. Then when a player dies, Veronica has to ask herself if this is part of the game or if there's a real killer playing by their own rules. This, night, this may not be a game... Veronica wanted to play, but someone, but it's one she has to win or die trying. So again, it sounds super, super interesting and I'm looking forward to uh, reading it and putting it on my channel. And again, this is like the library copy, so once I read it, it will go back. But this one's quite long because it's over 300 pages, so. so that's that one. And the final book I borrowed from the library, I have another one that's on reserve but hasn't arrived yet, is Every Word a Lie by Sue Wilman. I have read every single one of her books um, so far, I just have a couple that I need to review that I actually own. Um, but this one I borrowed from the library because I couldn't get a copy of Waterstones because they didn't have any in stock. So this is someone is sorry, someone is catfishing to kill. Friends Amy and Stan get revenge on their pranks to friend Holly by sending fake messages from her crush. But then Holly ends up dead and the catfish killer is just getting started. 
Amy is determined to stop them, but unpacking the tangled web of secrets, lies, and her friendship group leaders group leads to one terrifying conclusion: she might be the killer's next victim. And this author has done um. Sorry, bear with me. I've forgotten. I know she's done lying about last summer i know you did it which i reviewed on the channel such a good liar they're popular see how they lie you'll tend to die i have read literally every single one of them apart from this one and this one that i have a copy of i reviewed this one recently and i've read the other three but not reviewed them so i'm really looking forward to reading this one and then this is like another, I think it's YA, it's a thriller, but this is Four Found Dead that my best friend got me for my birthday by Natalie D. Richards. Um, there were seven of them working late, then the doors locked. I found this on Instagram and I was just really curious because I thought the cover was just really daunting and the story itself. So we have at the movie theatre where Joe works, the last show has ended, but the nightmare is just beginning. Tonight Riverview Theatres is closing forever, the last remaining business in a defunct shopping mall. The movie goers have left and Joe and her six co-workers have the final shift, a shift that quickly turns a dark turn. First a stranger arrives with a chilling aggressation, then the power goes out and their manager just appears along with the keys to the lobby doors and the theatre and the theatre safe, where the crew's phones are locked each shift. Their tension turns to terror when Joe discovers the dead body of one of her co-workers. Now their only chance to escape the murderer is their midis is through the dark shut shuttered mall, with its boarded up exits and disabled disabled fire alarms. The complex is filled with hiding places for both pursuer and pursued. In order to survive this night, Joe and her friends must trust one another, navigate the spawning ruins of the mall and outwit a killer before he kills again. So she's read other books like Five Total Strangers, Gone Too Far, What You Hide. So yeah, I just kind of picked this one up from my best friend got it for me and I asked um, because it sounds super super interesting. Um, the next one my best friend picked up for me because um, she got me two is Big Bad Me and I believe this has a mixture of uh, werewolves and vampires etc. But this one says, Evie Wilder just found out she's a werewolf. Now her mum's gone missing. She has to go into hiding and there's not a single helpful vampire slayer to be found. With the help of Kevin, the dorky hot manager of the guest house where she and her sister lie low, Evie starts to harness her wolfish side. But there's something weird about Kevin. Meanwhile, animal attacks are increasing. Local teens are going missing and Evie is a vampire about to find herself at the centre of a supernatural showdown. I just wanted to show you the back as well. So again, it sounded super, super cool. And I just noticed on each kind of chapter you've got these kind of werewolf kind of thing so yes it sounds uh interesting so i can't wait to read that and on the side it has like a little house as well so it seems like it's going to be a good one so the next one that i have is i've got the second book is for fall in by lauren k i believe this is kind of like um kind of to do with dark romance kind of angel type stuff but some angels are destined to fall Instant, intense, weirdly familiar. The moment Luce looks at Dan, Daniel, sh Daniel, she knows she has never felt like this before, except she can't shake the feeling that she has, and with him, 
people she doesn't remember ever setting eyes on? Will her attempt to find out why enlighten her or destroy her? So I think this is book one of five or something like that. And I picked this up at a charity shop. And then I have book two that I found recently, uh, Torment by Lauren Kate. And this is A Love Never Dies. Um, it took something, an eternity to find her beloved angel, Daniel, but he waited for her and now they are forced apart again to protect Luce from the outcasts and mortals who want her dead. During their separation, Luce learns about her mysterious past lives, but the more she discovers, the more she suspects that Daniel is hiding something. What if Daniel's version of the past isn't true? Is it really their destiny to be together? Or is Luce actually meant to be with somebody else? So I'm going to read it and give it a try. I don't think I'll review it and then see whether I like it or not. So the next one is I have been trying to get hold of this since the very first day it came out and none of the booksellers were kind of selling it and it wasn't until I went into an independent bookshop bookstore that they had it. Um, yeah, so I managed to get it but that is This Delicious Death. And this has been going around all over like Instagram and I was just like, I really, really want it. But it's a girl, eat girl world. Um, so this is kind of like a vampire type book and this author has done like one of her book as well. So this summer is going to get gory. Two years ago, a small percentage of the population underwent a transformation known as the hollowing. Those affected were only able to survive by consuming human flesh. The people who went without quickly became feral, turning on their friends and family. Luckily, scientists were able to create a synthetic version of the human meat that would satisfy their hunger. As a result, humanity slowly began to return to normal. Cut to Zoe, Celeste and Valerie and Jamie, four hollow girls living in Southern California, as a last hooray before graduation, they attend a music musical festival in the heart of the desert. They have a cooler filled with sitza, vodka and sim flesh and are ready to party. But on the first night of the festival, Val goes feral and ends up killing and eating a boy in one of the bands. As the other festival guests start disappearing around them, the girls soon discover someone is targeting people like them, but they can't figure out how to stop it soon, and soon no one at the festival is getting out alive. So yeah, vampires, and that sounded right up my alley. And then the last book that I have that I picked up on my first birthday, and I think I picked this up just because the cover was kind of like really dark and kind of depressing is Court of the Undying Season and I believe this is about vampire but this is like a hardback and I think I just picked it up because of how like how thingy the cover is but in becoming a vampire unless than a girl and more or maybe I'm becoming what I always have been a deep inside blade. When Finn takes her secrets love place in the village finding she's whisked away to castle Court's heart a nauseous vampire <coughs> sorry a nauseous vampire school where human students either become powerful vampires or spend the rest of their lives as lowly human thrills, if they survive long enough, that is. But Finn has no intention of becoming a vampire. Instead, she's determined to learn how to kill vampires and avenge her mother, who was taken by the vampires years ago. But Court's heart is, a, is as captivating as it is deadly, and Finn is quickly swept up in her new world and its inhabitants in this particular her handsome and hostile vampire making whose blood is nothing short of intoxicating. 
As she uncovers a string of murders, Finn discovers a deadly ritual that threatens both vampires and humans. She must find the killer before she loses her life or betray her heart. Get ready for a full and journey into a world of vampires, power and danger. So yeah, that is the last book that I have to show for both of my channels. And I really, really, sorry, I really appreciate any support um, in watching. Thank you.